I don't know if this is more of a, an observation or a rant, or a combination of both. The state of live music in the Fraser Valley has me a little concerned, and a couple of things recently tweaked my interest. One of which is I'm in rehearsals right now with the Chilliwack Metropolitan Orchestra. No, I'm not playing an instrument. Uh, we are going to do on January 21st at GW Graham Theater, PDQ Bach. Basically, it's Beethoven's fifth with a sports play-by-play. -play. It's rather funny. January 21st, plug, 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 plug. Anyway, seriously, talking to people in the classic music category in that community here in the Fraser Valley, by the way, did you know that we have three symphonies in the Fraser Valley? They're all hurting. And they we're worried about apathy. And their audience is between 60 and 80. A 35-year-old person doesn't seem to really want to get up and go see the symphony. And the ticket prices are rather reasonable. You know, anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks. It's not like going to Rogers Arena, dropping $200 for a ticket to watch some pop act that's lip-syncing, but I digress. Country music really taking a hit. I mean, yes, there's Tractor Grease, Dukes, and a few others in the Valley, but they're finding it tough to bring in country acts, live country acts, not the canned stuff. Don't get me started about the various bars that simply play canned music. And what about rock acts? There aren't too many places that are really promoting live music. Which has me going back to, is live music in the Fraser Valley dead? Are we spoiled? We get some serious acts now coming into Abbotsford, so we don't have to go into Vancouver. Or is it easier just to download music and video off the internet or from Netflix? It makes you wonder. And to those who still think that live music is the best, I'm quoting Frank Zappa. Live music is still the best. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.